Hey everybody and welcome to another video. In this one, I'm gonna show you why, in my opinion, DayZ is the most hardcore game in terms of PvP, especially solo versus squads. I have a feeling like the DayZ development is heading towards the direction of favoring squads. Like it's not hardcore enough already. But it's only my opinion. Buckle up your seatbelts because you're gonna witness some really, really crazy and intense fights against huge squads. Everyone Dude, nice right shot. now call out hush. How do you find people, man? I don't Where the f is everyone at in this game? I hit both of them. Oh, there's three. In the building, in the building. I one is dead, I think. Is there three? That was just the guy shooting at you from the what's called I thought. I guess there's gonna be a load, we already know, right? Oh, goodness oh. great. He's gotta close the, he's gotta escape and uh, reopen up basically on somebody, like now. Hey. What a shot, man. This guy's nutty, dude. Hit again? I mean, bro, you're using 357. It's pretty much the most unreliable round in Daisy. I actually, I actually hate the repeater. And again. And again? Yeah, you're smacking them up. If these were Mosin shots, these motherfuckers are being serious shit. At this point, you would think that I probably killed at least one guy. Especially nope. the first guy that I hit in the head and then twice. Oh, in the you zone. didn't kill oh, that guy? Conscious. Nope. They were all still alive. The reason behind it is the 357 round that was nerfed quite a lot comparing to what it was before. And unfortunately, situations like that where you run into a fully geared squad when you have some early game civilian rifles happen quite a lot. Anyway, let's see what happened next. I tried to flank back and go to the first guy that I thought I killed and maybe get some better guns in the vests. Oh, he's not dead? You see how he's got balls of steel, though? He's not afraid to get around the area, move around the area, clear shit. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. I don't thought it was deep. Oh! I see him. He uses the control... He uses the control slow, too. Control walk. That looked like he uses control walk. Am I wrong? Two still alive. You have to. What do you mean you have to? Hmm. Oh. That cracked him good. This is where... Uh, he hasn't played with UI, so I can't... What he has. A gameplay versus squads and red low. This is red chunk. A gameplay versus squads red chunk. and holy shit. This was the crucial moment of the entire that was the changing moment right there. You got gear once. And I completely lost my mobility. My health was red. I couldn't run. I couldn't reposition anymore. The only option that I had left was to stay in that building and camp. Which I am completely okay with. Because that's what makes DayZ a lot more hardcore comparing to other games where PvP is a big factor. In many other titles, you probably heal yourself within the next few seconds. Or you'd have meds. That would put you back on Max. Your feet within a very short while. The problem is that this server had a little bit different shock damage than vanilla servers. Oh. On vanilla server, oh. that Mosin shot would most hey. likely kill me or oh. drop me unconscious. Oh. Which would leave me with no chances to continue to fight Max. and perhaps survive. 
This is why I like to say that in Daisy, if you're fighting against a squad and you want to survive and kill them all, you only have to make sure that you hit every single shot and your enemy misses everything. He got a fest now. Dude, he hit that one. That guy's dead. Oh my god. Well, that was a huge squad. I counted at least five different players. But anyway, let's move to another clip. I was just rolled up, man. Fat. Where the hell did those guys go? Was it at us? I don't know. It was the breast. Yes, it's at you. I'm dead. Ooh. I didn't know about this. What the f Oh shit. Such a geared squad. That's the shot he goes for after all that? Oh, you're a maniac. You are a maniac. That one was a hit. Oh, that was nice. Well. That was real nice. He should be done. Oh, looking right at you. Hit. Oh, I got a load. I hit all three of them, dude. Dude, are you? Ah, you are insane. <laughs> Here, of course, I decided to fall back, flank a little bit, and see if oh. I can find him regrouping, bandaging, and healing. At this point, I thought I was fighting a three-man squad, but later it turned out that it was a lot more than I expected. What, six man? Wow, that guy's oh, lucky. On Earth, I swear to God. So now he's got to deal with 19,000 zombies real quick. Don't worry about it. You know what's going on? I don't have a clue, dude. No one's talking yeah. to me. Or at least not that I've seen. They may have. Yeah, freaking out. Thanks for the five. Get those, brother. Good to see you, man. Appreciate you, dude. Sorry, I've been looking at chat for this. I've been a little bit trying to observe. A nice shot. Dead. There's one. Hit. It's caught counter strafing. Now, how do you handle the zombies? I can't do anything with those zombies, man. Too many zombies, dude. Too many fucking zombies. What am I supposed to do? Well, you're still running out in the open looking for PvP? That's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to go to the building and lock them up. Maniac. Maniac. I'm just running back to help. Hit. I'm gone. How does he have so much stamina? Don't wake up. Don't wake up. Don't wake up. Epi? Where are you? The zombies are gonna go to him that now, though. That was also a huge squad. I'm not sure if it was a four-man or a five-man. Anyway, point is, I was hitting shots left and right. But since it was a really big squad, I was just probably hitting different players. And the fact that they wouldn't go unconscious or die unless it was a headshot makes the game even more hardcore than if they would just get one tap like on vanilla servers. So that means, for me as a solo, it's harder to fight the squad. 
because they don't go on con or die immediately after each of my Winchester shots. But it's also harder for the squad to kill me because I can tank a shot. Which is fun because both sides can actually have the chance to exchange fire. Now imagine a situation that in the same firefight I had a pristine plate carrier. The guy hits me with a high caliber and I drop unconscious without the chance to survive or fight back. Yeah, have a good night, my friend. Yo, Big Gambino, thank you so much for the uh, crazy subos too, man. Oh, shit. It's actually four. A lot, a lot of subs. Make sure you guys say thanks. You have some time. He does have the walk button on, on his control. I'm gonna put mine back now that he uh, now that uh, he is. Can we get to Bob Lamb? And exactly like in both previous clips, if you're fighting a squad and they know your position, go back, flank, shoot, repeat. Oh! Another one hit. Wait. Two dead guys. Did he just walk there or did he crouch? I think he crouched there. Love you, mate. I knew it. There's so many. Damn. Okay, now there's nothing I can do anymore. Sorry, guys. I tried. Too many. And that's if a broken leg is not hardcore enough. Is it not a big enough penalty for a solo player? Do you have to still go unconscious like on vanilla servers and become completely vulnerable? Damn. Move on to the next clip. In this one, it was actually a four-man squad with white armbands, and I had no weapon on me. So I had no choice but to run down to Borek military base and try to find a gun. And unfortunately for me, the only thing I could find was a chambered FNX. So it was Ouch. me with a chambered FNX versus a four-man squad. That's Uncon. Maybe a dead, I don't know. Course blocked. Having a little power on the corner? Unfortunately, there was a moment where all the three guys left the area for a moment and I was able to sneak into the barrack and grab a Pepesha from the first guy that I killed was not recorded. So I apologize for that, but let's pick it up from the moment where I was running away with a Pepesha. I'll, uh, I'll text you or whatever. Right. Sounds good. Hit you with some shit. <clears throat> His helmet. That's four. So at last, the clip where I finally was able to wipe the entire squad and survive. At least we can end up the whole video with a positive accent. So basically, the goal of this video was to cover two points. The first one is Daisy being probably the most hardcore game, in my opinion, in terms of PvP, especially solo versus squads. And the second point, that some of the settings on vanilla servers are a little bit too much, also <laughs> from a solo player perspective. I believe that a broken leg and not being able to run anymore is already a huge penalty for a solo player, and there is absolutely no need to put him unconscious as well. I also believe that if you're full health and you have the best ballistic vest in the game that weighs 12 kilograms and takes almost half of your stamina, should be able to tank at least one shot without putting you unconscious. Then somebody can say, but Tope, 
DayZ is a hardcore game, so vanilla has to be this hardcore. Well, come to the servers that I play on and try to wipe a squad that doesn't go unconscious after every each shot from a high caliber gun. Paradox? I guess. Anyway, please remember that it's only my opinion and I was just trying to prove my point.